to the channel that is about all things absolutely delicious and sharing what I learn and hopefully with your comments share your feedback with me as well as to how the tips and everything that I'm going to be sharing today in this tutorial is going to help you. I'm going to be doing a six inch three layer cake. It's already baked and I'm going to crumb coat the cake stuff and crumb coat the cake for you today. So let's dive right in. I'm using a cake board that's from our very own brand which is Sweet Tooth. It is a 12 inch gold royalty. Hopefully you'll get to see the detail really well. I'm just taking off the individual wrapping that I absolutely love because it protects the board. Get that out of there. And here we go. Nice jewel, little dazzle. It will definitely level up your presentation of your cake. So let's get started. All right. So first things first, let's get my frosting into my piping bag. I've already made my vanilla buttercream frosting. I have a video, I'll put the link in the description below. I have a video as to how I make this. It's not too sweet, it's silky smooth, and absolutely delicious. Hair and Grand came out and all of my customers love it. So starting off, putting a dab of buttercream to just help secure the cake as we build our tears. So I was able to get the top of my cake flat. This is a confetti cake, six inch confetti. I'm gonna put that down there, making sure it's nice and level, yes. And creating a barrier for the filling that I'm gonna be using today. Using my buttercream, create that barrier. And I'm using my delicious Cayman Caramel. If you've not had my caramel, heard about my caramel, you need to try my caramel. It is absolutely delicious. So getting that in here, layer that out. Get my chocolate cake, place that there. Create another barrier. When it pops, it just pops. Right? Go back in with my caramel, scoop, or dollop, whichever one. And I don't want to put too much caramel because I don't want it to ooze out. I can't prevent that from happening by, if anything, just putting all of the buttercream on the top, but that's not what I want. Right. Final layer of cake is gonna be the confetti. Secure that down. So using my spatula, I'm going to create the crumb coats for this. These cakes were baked this morning and I had them in the refrigerator Definitely for over eight hours now. Because your girl was up from the And I am just creating a nice crumb coat. And I will adjust the cake as needed be if it starts to look lean. Or I can definitely grab my dowels from now and place them in. But this cake, I won't need a dowel. By the time I'm properly stacking this and this sets in the refrigerator, it will be a lot more stable. So the reason why I highly suggest, you know, making sure that your cake is refrigerated before you start to frost it is that the cake is a lot more solid and uh, when it's just baked, it's very fresh, so it's not as firm. Highly recommend either, you know, freezing the cake for a bit or put it in the refrigerator just so that it can really solidify so it makes working with it a whole lot easier. All right, so to me, yep, looking a bit lean. Just 
straighten her up. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So this right here is our crumb coat. Crumb coat. My apologies. So let's take this, the excess, and just use it for the top. So making sure that it looks level and also making sure it's level. Not all lean and wobbly. See? That right there is perfect. I'm going to get this into the refrigerator. I'm going to be leaving it for actually overnight, to be quite honest with you, because the cake is not due until tomorrow. But I do hope that this video tutorial has been very helpful for you. I do hope as well that the techniques that I use, that you will see that they're easy for you like and subscribe to my channel because you know you want to know when I post you want to learn some more incredible tips and you also want to see our incredible creations right so please do like and subscribe it means a lot thanks in advance